Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a Light Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today, everyone, I am here with a general love tale reading for all of my Tauruses who are watching. So if you have Taurus as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, then this reading may resonate or apply. So Taurus, in your reading today, I will be channeling any energy in regards to love that is making its way towards you. This energy may already be in your life currently. But before I do go ahead and officially begin and get started, please keep in mind that this will be a general reading for your sign, Taurus, so it may or may not resonate for you here specifically, and if it does not, please don't take it personally. But without further ado, let's go ahead and see what energy we do have for you, Taurus, when it comes to love here. What energy is making its way? Five of Wands in reverse, so... That's a good thing it's in reverse, Taurus, but what do we need to know? Five of Wands in reverse. Ace of Cups. Who is this person? Offering Taurus the Ace of Cups, please. Four of Pentacles. All right. Why do we have this Four of Pentacles for Taurus? Nine of Swords here. Let's clarify. Ace of Cups, Nine of Swords specifically, please. Okay, so we'll go ahead and leave it at that for now. Of course, we'll have some more energies, but Five of Cups and Four of Cups. So Five of Wands in reverse, Taurus, as a recap. Ace of Cups, Four of Pentacles, Nine of Swords here, Five of Cups and Four of Cups. So... I do feel like this is more so for my single Tauruses, someone who has recently gotten out of something because it doesn't have to be recent, but I feel like this is referring to a person of the past. You are single Taurus, but I feel like this person is reaching out to maybe just be in your business. They might come back for no real reason if they're not serious here and it comes off as them reopening up a wound, which you have already healed from. And it could be frustrating when someone knows how much you love them or love them, and they, they try to use that against you to reel you back in. So, of course, Taurus, it depends on how you feel. Do what is best for you. But I feel like you've reached this place where you're moving on. You're, you're finding this solitude within yourself. You're harboring that self-love, that unconditional love, and maybe even forgiving yourself or accepting yourself for the mistakes you've made. Or we, we all learn from things. So it could also be, I did this in the past. I would not do that now. So I, I feel like you moved away from those distractions and this Four of Pentacles. You're keeping what's valuable to yourself. I With this card I always like to describe it as you're being selfish in the best way possible you're putting yourself first not just anyone is going to come back or come back in your circle or try to get in your circle Taurus because it could be depleting it could it can mess up your frequency mess up your alignment here so I feel like you've been practicing solitude Taurus and with that no confrontations besides within self here and that could be represented nine of swords reminiscing or thinking about the things that have gone on the things that you've been through the hurt that was faced with people or this specific person but five of wands it's like no one is you're not allowing someone to get up close and personal to you in general, but also not someone who is going to mess up your frequency, mess up your 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 mindset right now. So, also bringing in that that energy or theme of solitude, Taurus. I 
I can't be bothered. I can't be distracted. You go argue with yourself. You go reconcile with yourself here because I don't want any parts of it. I'm more focused on this unconditional love within self, practicing self-love, prioritizing yourself, fulfilling your own cup, but also knowing that you don't have to settle for the hurt you've been through. You don't have to accept people back into your life that have showed you nasty energy, Taurus. So this, this is still out there, Taurus, and I feel like you know that. So when it comes to people of the past, we have the Five of Cups. I, I feel like you know for yourself, Taurus, and of course, please only take what resonates for you, but how you were hurt, why you were hurt, it, it wasn't you, Taurus, like, and sometimes we can blame ourselves or guilt trip ourselves. If I didn't say yes to this and this wouldn't have happened to me, but when you're dealing with another person, someone should be emotionally mature or just mature in general to know what's right, know what's wrong. So it's not, it's not on you, Taurus. We can take our own accountability still, but it's like you've sat, you've processed, and you've released in order to turn that blind eye, I think that's the saying, turn that blind eye to this person or the past that did not deserve who you are, your energy, your love, your light, Taurus. The sun. We do have the sun. Leo energy. All right. Leo energy with the sun card. What other energy is relevant, please, for Taurus? Ten of cups here. Ten of cups. Let's see what this Knight of Swords is about. Knight of Swords here. All right, let's put these cards back. But we do have the Three of Pentacles, Six of Swords, Knight of Cups here. We'll shuffle for individual cards. Following the Knight of Swords for Taurus, please. The Lovers, Taurus, Gemini. Energy, we have the Knight of Swords, Gemini with the Lovers. What else for Taurus? All right, let's see what we have. Okay, Seven of Cups, but in reverse, sorry. Seven of Cups in reverse. And then look at that. That Three of Pentacles came out again. Bottom of the deck, we do have the Death card. Scorpio Energy, Two of Cups, Three of Swords, Judgment. Six of Wands. So I, I feel like you you definitely said no to someone from the past, Taurus, because you knew you were better than that. You knew you were better than the hurt that you've gone through and not wanting to reopen or relive something with a specific person. They had your love and they could have taken control as far as treating you correctly. Four of Cups, you're not interested in them anymore, Taurus. And then we have Leo Energy, the Sun, Ten of Cups, Knight of Swords, Gem or Knight of Swords, the Lovers, Gemini energy, Seven of Cups in reverse, and Three of Pentacles. So I believe Venus is in Cancer. So this could be a favorable time for you, Taurus, when it comes to love, manifesting the love you deserve and desire, and also feeling nurtured by someone else, but most importantly, yourself, Taurus. So you said no to the past here, and you welcomed in this joy, this peacefulness and peace feeling peace or feeling grateful for the still moments finding peace finding joy and things being the same things can be different towards things can be worse in a way so I, I feel like you found joy in where you're at now and feeling like could have felt a transformation come through with the Scorpio energy but it's like Seeing all of what's in front of you and knowing that you have access for it or access towards it and for yourself. So it's like you're attracting not only an energy that you are within Taurus, but you're also attracting a, a romantic partner in that form as well. Ten of Cups energy. You're not crying anymore. If anything, crying tears of joy, but it's like someone who is your best friend someone who like when they're in front of you it 
it seems like a hug, Taurus. That's how I'm describing the Ten of Cups. But it just makes sense. It feels right. Like, you feel inspired, Taurus. And it's like, I'm so glad I did not settle for the past because this is where it's at, Taurus. You can also be manifesting this, visualizing it, Taurus. Because I feel like this love offer, it's going, like, you're doing your own thing, Four of Pentacles, the sun. You're doing your own thing, Taurus. Do we have the judgment living in your truth here, accepting what is and what isn't? So as you're doing your own thing, this Knight of Swords energy comes quick. It comes to you. And I feel like that's when the lover's card, like someone is decisive about you, Taurus. And with that decisiveness, it's going to come off or register to you, Taurus, as this person is serious. Like, they're courting me, they're telling me, they're showing me. That's why we have the Seven of Cups in reverse here. This person wants to get to know you, and they'll make it crystal clear here. And this pull, this magnetic pull, attraction, Taurus, I feel like it's going to be undeniable. Someone who gives you their... their I was going to say like their ear, but like someone who listens to you, Taurus, someone who um, treats you with respect, they, and as anyone should, Taurus, but someone who knows that you're a special person, you're a great person, and they want to support you, they want to push you, they want to help you grow, um, someone who accepts I was at fault here. It's it's a reciprocal energy here, but someone who makes you feel seen, they make you feel heard, they make you feel important, Taurus. So a divine counterpart, a divine connection here, Taurus, that comes through time. But it's like once you know, you know, or yeah, once you know, you know, you'll feel it, Taurus, and you won't be second guessing it. Is this right for me? Is this... Um, is this going, like, you're not going to be doubting this with the Seven of Cups in reverse because that teamwork, that that team relationship, however you want to refer to it as, Taurus, it's it's a match made in heaven. That's how I, I see it as. And it comes through time. You are patient, Taurus, or I feel like you're learning to be patient because it's not worth how you were feeling before with someone clogging up your energy. As far as signs here, we do have Aries for Taurus, Virgo, Aries, Virgo, and Gemini. All right, Taurus, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that for today as always. I appreciate the love here and the support. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you all next time. Bye.